excited. Hi, you're tuned in with WTF. WTF. I'm Cleo. And I'm Vicki. All right, so today's topic is... Friends with benefits. Yay! <laughs> All right, Um. so friends with benefits. Um. So let's first talk about what does that actually mean? mean right yeah. um so to me friend with benefits is someone that i trust um that i don't want to actually be with that is going to give me some when i'm horny well yeah <laughs> somebody that you don't have any commitment or set rules you know you can do whatever you want in your personal life and this is just somebody to take the edge off yeah but i see I don't like when people say it's a friend who benefits and then they go on like dates and stuff though. Like I think that's crossing the line. I think that's dating at that point. But what if you take your friend to Applebee's or to Red Lobster? That's like a date, but it's it's just like y'all going out. I kind of feel like that's like low budget cooch. But you know, if it's just your friend and you want to go out to get something to eat, is that considered a date? Well when you leave this Applebee's or wherever you decided to go eat, are y'all going to go sleep together? Well, with friends with benefits, it can happen anywhere. But see, that's still a date to me. Like, it's different if it was like a group setting, in my opinion. Like, if it's a group setting and y'all just out, and then afterwards y'all give each other a look, or you be like, and y'all go do something, then I still feel like that's friends with benefit. But when it's just you and that person, then I kind of feel like it's crossing the line. Yeah, I agree. So, I feel like with with Friends with Benefits, I'm more concerned about the ending of it, right? Because if you've truly been a friend with benefits, then it should be cool. Like, you could be like, hey, I'm dating somebody and there's, like, no hard feelings. But once you start going on dates and stuff, then expectations change, right? And you don't want your friend getting jealous and then y'all can't be friends anymore. And that's going to end the friendship. Yeah, but it's a slippery slope. It really is, like, because... I think it should be an expiration date. Like, it can only happen one time, accidentally, or... Yeah, I, I think that's true. Like, if you accidentally slept with your friend, and, I mean, not accidentally like you slip and feel and did on this, but I'm saying, like, y'all was out, y'all was drinking, y'all got busy, woke up, like, dang, okay, we friends, let's not make this go any further. Yeah, but if you keep doing it, it's more like a relationship, no matter what you call it. Yeah, especially because you're not going to focus on anybody else. Because now this person is feeding a need. Okay, so basically, friends with benefits is like a, like an escape goat, but no commitment. But really, what, what it turns out to be is the same thing as being in a relationship. It's just the same thing, except for you change the name, but your feelings still involved. But then you, you risk the, like, get into a relationship with somebody you really don't care about, right? Like, not in that way. Because we have friends for a reason. Like, friends yeah. are usually people we don't want to be intimate with. We don't see ourselves in a relationship with. But we like hanging out with them. Yeah. And that's another thing. People that call themselves friends with benefits, they're not actually friends. They just they just sleep together. It's like, okay. Yeah. It's not real friendship. Because real friendship is, is closer than that. That's true. And it wouldn't be tainted by it. Like, I, I have real good friends that I would never sleep with because... That's not a friendship. I don't even look at them as an option yeah. for friends with benefits. So I feel like with friends with benefits, you either A, already have feelings for this person and you just haven't admitted it. You either, two, don't really think of this person as a friend and they're disposable. Because once you have that friends with benefits relationship, you gonna lose that person. I, like, I don't foresee that going anywhere. I, like I ain't been successful in having it because I either didn't really want you and you were again it's just expendable um then three if you are really good friends uh then you really gonna mess up a really good friendship because you don't want to lose good friends over something so silly yeah sex seems like is really really important and don't get me wrong i really do think it's important but i don't think that you should risk doing stuff like that with people you really care about and want to be around long term just for um instant gratification this is my opinion. What do you think? I agree. All right. Well, let us know what you think of friends with benefit relationship looks like. Have you been in one? Has it been successful?
let us know in the comments like share subscribe and support us and we will definitely reply back to you <laughs> yes so let us know you have tuned in with wtf, WTF. i'm cleo and i'm vicky bye bye